Hey, thank you so much for having me over. Yeah, I know you are trying to get ready for a trip very soon here, and I know you're really busy. Yeah, I just wanted to come over and help you pack. I know it can be daunting deciding your outfits and what to bring and that's why I'm here to help you out mm -hmm. Is this the bag you plan to take? I love it so much Oh, it's from Cal sure if you pack a lot it will get quite heavy are you okay with that okay how long is your trip again okay just a couple days so like a weekend trip really okay so you don't really need a big suitcase this should do just fine. Yeah, and if you're committed to your outfits, then you shouldn't have any problems uh, packing somewhat lightly or packing just what you need. Yes, I see there's a front pocket here. Some shoulder straps and quite roomy in there. And there's a little mesh pocket here. Yes, I see another big pocket and two pouch sleeves. So plenty of room to tuck away lots of items. There's a side pocket. And what's over here? Okay. This is for shoes. Okay. But you don't you don't really need to put shoes in there if you don't want to. Okay. That's not a problem. I like to use those compartments for extra clothes or you know, leave it empty just to maximize all the space. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, we'll leave it off to the side here to start packing our items. Are we ready? Okay, I see you have some clothes over here, so I'll just start getting a couple things together and we can go through them. Okay. All right. So I see quite a bit of fall items or items you can layer. Is that your destination? Okay. You're going to be somewhere where somewhat more warmer during the day colder in the evening, so you want to layer. Okay. Okay, this is nice. It's like a nice floral skirt. Okay. You like this one? Okay. This is nice. It's nice mid-length with a slit on the side. Is that right? These would go great with some long boots, if you have them. You do? Okay. Alright. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, so 
this is a nice option. I see it's got some orange and white and black. Very fall. Another skirt. Okay, this one's also floral, but just white and brown. Also with a slit, like this one as well. Yeah, it's very pretty. Skirts during the fall are one of my favorite things to wear especially pairing with some sweaters. Okay, let's see what we can pair these with. So, I'll look at this one first. So, I see you have this rust orangey colored cropped sweater. It's with a turtleneck. cozy, but because it's cropped, it's not too warm, I imagine. It's not. Okay. Now, is it too cropped on you? Okay, the skirts are high-waisted, so you won't have a problem pairing this. Okay. I like it. Maybe I'll borrow it. <laughs> you know how much I love to shop no, this is a great option paired together. The orange somewhat matches, so it ties in really well. And if you pair these with some long black boots, these would go great. Okay. So, that's one option for a sweater. like a great option. Sort of white, cream, a little bit of a soft v-neck. Very comfortable knit. And this would also go well with the skirt, don't you think? Yeah. Because it pulls in the white. So, maybe if you didn't want Turtleneck could go with this neckline. It's a good option. Okay, and this is your other sweater option. Okay. This one. Ooh, it's like a cashmere type sweater. It's a bit more of a oatmeal taupe color. And I think it could still go. Maybe not as good as the other two. What do you think? You like the other two better. Okay. Alright. Well. With this skirt, I think the only option that goes well with this sweater-wise would be the cream sweater. Yeah, the orange wouldn't really. You like both options. Okay, well, I can go ahead and set both of these outfits aside and you can decide before you go if you want to narrow down to just one option. Um, and of course, these sweaters go with both of the skirt. Or it goes, they both go with the skirt, so you have some options. This option or this option. and fold these up for you. Yeah, I find deciding outfits kind of takes care of 80% of the packing uh, angst. <laughs> so, I'm just going to stick these in here so you can go through them later. That's okay. Yeah. Also keeps you from wearing anything you plan to take on. these as 
sweaters here. Now, I would recommend choosing one outfit option just because sweaters do take up a lot of space. So just be mindful of that. Okay. All right. So, I see you have jeans, denim. These are from Abercrombie. They are the 90 straight ultra high rise. They look very comfortable. They're kind of stiff, but I'm sure as you wear them throughout the day, they'll soften. So, these have a very straight leg but a bit, I'd say, loose looking. Yeah. That 90s feel. So, what's more 90s than uh, a sweater vest? I saw you had one. So, if you plan on bringing these, I think this sweater vest would go great. tan color and to make it even more pizzazz, if you will, compare it over a collared long white shirt, long sleeve shirt. see you have a different vest though. This vest here. Very also in Harry Met Sally inspired. It's like a tweed houndstooth. Houndstooth uh, pattern with brown and I think this might be either a darker brown or a light brown and white and it looks like you can adjust it in the back if you need it and you could always button it up or leave it loose depending on the vibe but I also recommend wearing it over uh, the long sleeve Do you have a preference for one of the vests? Oh, which one would I choose? Well, these are your outfits, but if I had to, I think, and I might think this is the same for you, you might feel most comfortable in this sweater. Yeah, and it's a little bit warmer if it's a chillier afternoon. They'll probably go with most of your outfits anyway, and definitely with the outfit we just chose for you. It will absolutely be the 90s vibe, and you will love it. <laughs> okay, I'll put this away for you. Here 
you have a pair of black jeans. Lovely. Also a great option. They've got some holes in them. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so I see you have you have a brown bodysuit option and a black bodysuit. Personally, I'm thinking the black might be best just based on a couple of other pieces I'm seeing. Yeah, let me show you. So, if we were to pair the black jeans with the black bodysuit, you have a classic all black look. So, that means the outerwear can help sort of anchor the look together. Now, I love pairing black with green. You have this lovely forest green corduroy light. Uh, I would even say it could be a shirt or a jacket, so like a jacket. More on the thinner side though. These cute turquoise, or not turquoise, uh, tortoise buttons. So, I think this is a great option. If you didn't want to bring the bodysuit, you could do a black turtleneck. Um, but if you're feeling like it might be a little, little warmer, you could do the bodysuit. This would be a great outerwear piece and it goes really well with black, in my opinion. So that's one option for outerwear. Yeah, it's like a corduroy uh, texture. Yeah. Or this is a lovely jacket. It is more like a jacket, jacket proper, and uh, it's this beautiful light brown and white plaid little jacket. It's a bit warmer, so it can really help you feel toasty warm. Yeah, and obviously would go well. You like this one more? Well, I think that's a great choice and of course you still have a little bit of time so you can try these out. Try out the different jackets if you want to see which one you like better. Uh oh, I just thought of the perfect accessories with this outfit other than wearing your black boots that you're bringing. You could wear a nice belt. Kind of helps break up all the black nicely. Adds a little pizzazz. I really like this double ringed belt you have. Yeah. So this is a great option to bring and you can really pair it with most of your outfits as well. So, it's a good option. I saw that you have these hats. This is a great hat that you can bring. And it's got some gold detailing so it can match your belt. Western style. Isn't that cute? I definitely think you should bring one of the hats you have. 
This is the other hat. It's a bit bigger. It has some hardware on the side, but it is a bit bigger. I'll just keep that in mind. I think it uh, would go really well as well. So, is there a preference? This one? Okay. Great choice. This one is also really cute. But maybe just a tad big. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this hat off to the side for you. You could really wear it with most of your outfits as well. But I'm gonna put the items on here. Your jacket's gonna be a little bulky right now. I'm going to set it off to the side. Yeah, one of these outfits you plan to be wearing, so you'll still have quite a bit of room. Okay, so we're going to pass on this jacket for now. Okay, now I see that you have some black dresses. A great staple to bring is a black dress. Um, again, an all-black outfit we just did with pants or jeans, but a black dress is very versatile. This one's nice. It's got uh, a, like a mock turtleneck, but it's sleeveless, right? So, it's about mid-length, nice and loose, not too constricting to the body. So this is a great fall piece to help with the more warmer temperatures during the day. And you can throw a jacket over to really help transition for the cool weather. So, this option is great. I see we have another one here. This looks like sleeveless, regular, kind of scoop neck, crew neck, and also mid-length. This one looks to be like a bodycon dress, is that right? So just a bit more form-fitting, okay. If I'm honest, I think for where you're going, you're going to enjoy this dress more with the little mock dress. And you can absolutely pair it with your jacket and you could put the belt on it, you could wear it with the hat, you can wear it with the long black boots. I think that would be so adorable. So I think you should bring it for sure. <laughs> Also saw this graphic tee. It says Wyoming on it. It's super cute, very western. Uh, I feel like it goes with the vibe of your clothes. <laughs> you want to bring it? I think it would go well with any of your jeans or even the skirt if you wanted to mix up patterns. But I love to bring a graphic t-shirt with me or just a nice comfortable t-shirt. I feel like sometimes it just adds to my travel wardrobe nicely and makes me comfortable. Yeah, so I absolutely recommend bringing this, so glad you pulled it. Please be sure to go through that again and switch anything out if you need. Okay, so it looks like there's some pajamas, just a regular shirt, and these sweatpants. Yes, don't 
don't forget to pack some fuzzy socks. I hate when I go uh, traveling, and even if it's in the summer, and I forget socks in my hotel or the Airbnb, wherever I'm staying. A pair of socks, they don't have to be fuzzy socks, but a pair of socks are very important. So, I recommend bringing some of those, okay? But it looks like you have your pajamas sorted out. So, other than that, you just need to get all your undergarments together and you should be good. Okay, so I'll put this over here for now. You want to look at this other stuff you have? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I noticed you have a sweater here. This is a New York sweater. Very soft and comfortable. I think this is great. Um, unless you plan on buying a sweater where you're going as sort of like a souvenir, I, I would suggest bringing your own sweater um, just for lounging or as an extra top option um, if it gets cold at night. But this one is very, uh, this one is very comfortable and will go with, again, most of your bottoms. Very cute. So, I think this is uh, a great option to bring. Let's see. Okay. And then I see you have a jean jacket. This is really cute. It's like a cropped, uh, distressed jean jacket. This would honestly go with pretty much all your outfits, but it's up to you if you want to bring it alongside the plaid jacket. Um, you know, just as one of those things that uh, could end up taking a bit more room. So I can't kind of leave that up to you. Um, so if you feel you need some extra warmth, I recommend bringing the jean jacket to go with your skirt and sweater outfit options. Or you could wear it again with any other outfit we just put together. But just be mindful, you have the plaid jacket, jacket, and the cropped jean jacket. But it's up to you and how much room you have. Um, you know, if you're taking a car, which it sounds like you are, then you could always like leave a jacket in the car. It doesn't really take up space um, in your bag or the bags you plan to bring. Yeah. Okay. It's a good option though along with the sweater. So, you need some help with bags, handbags to bring. All right, well, this is very cute, a very Western vibe. It's a black sort of shoulder saddle bag, saddle style, I should say. Very cute. And it looks roomy. Okay. I think this is a great option. But let's look at the others you have. Okay, so this crossbody bag is nice. It's got leather, quilted leather. It doesn't look too roomy, or at the very least, you know, yeah, maybe not as roomy. A little bit more compact, but it is comfortable. Okay, that's good. And it's got this brown strap, so it kind of look, looks like its own accessory, really, which I think is always
crocodile and has a gold latch and a long strap but it looks like you could shorten it to be a shoulder strap, no? Okay, that's good. Alright. So, if you feel like this has enough room, I do feel like it's kind of a tie. On the one hand, I feel like this one goes really well with everything, very classic. But if you're trying to go for more bookish vibes, I think this is a good option. And you have the option of lengthening it or shortening it. So, kind of leaning towards this one just to kind of go a little out there. And I do think it would still go with everything, but how about you try on all your outfits and check out these bags with them and see if you like it. Okay, sounds good. So I see you have some tote bags, so you're unsure about bringing a tote bag, but you might want to bring it just for extra stuff. That makes sense. I like this one a lot. Van Gogh. Very cute. Very um, nice for like a farmer's market type of morning. Or a trip to the books, local bookstore. Or to the coffee shop. This is really cute. And you you could use it to bring extra items with you on your trip as well. Because you're going by car, you don't need to worry too much about the bags you're bringing, I would say. Okay, this is nice. Okay, and you can fold it compactly. This is nice. This is from the Strand Bookstore. Cute. They have a lot of cute tote bags. That's nice. This one's a little bit smaller and it's obviously a bright red so it really stands out. It's cute though. I like that a lot. I love it a lot. But I think the Just in terms of the tones, but this is super cute. Yeah. I think those are great options. <laughs> okay. So it looks like you have some jewelry here. Yeah, you just wanted an, another opinion. These are so adorable. These are like the Scream <laughs> themed uh, earrings. These are adorable. And it's very on point with your destination and the autumnal season. So I think these are really funky and cute if you wanted to wear them. Yeah, I think they're adorable. You can try them on and see if they work for you. But that's so cute. I love these a lot. Okay. And this is very beautiful.
you made this necklace at Brooklyn Charm in New York. Lovely. Okay. This is so cute. They're like all these little charms, like a book locket in the middle. There's a cherry, a heart with an initial, a Sagittarius coin. This is a little ace of spades. That's cute. A little heart lock and an evil eye coin. That's very cute. It's really cool that you can make your jewelry and make it personalized to what you like by picking out all the charms. And then it's more of a unique experience, but you don't really have to like fully make the necklace yourself, which is really cool. I love that, and it looks just so cute and eclectic. I think you should bring it. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it back. and such. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so these are all your items. Okay, let's just go through them. Make sure you have what you need. See some sunscreen. Always still good to wear sunscreen. The days can still be pretty warm. This is the face mist. That's a good one. SPF 50. Have you tried it over makeup? Okay, and it didn't break you out. That's good. And of course, the body lotion. Always handy. And I find the scent is not that offensive at all. It's really quite pleasant, but also not, you know, too perfumey, which can sometimes be, sometimes you put on sunscreen and you just feel like you're, you only smell like sunscreen. But I find with this, it's not that, like that, which is good. So don't forget to put on your sunscreen if you're apple picking or frolicking through a pumpkin. You have some bum bum cream from Sol de Janeiro. It's in the scent with. Is it the pistachio one? Yeah. This smells so good. Mm. I love it. You do look like you're running out. Might, might need to pick some up. Let's see. to go stick always an essential I'm so glad you remembered it Let's see oh, okay so you have some perfumes oh I love these okay so you have the Eilish by Billie Eilish a very fall scent it's like a more spicy vanilla scent the yum pistachio by KLE you used quite a bit of that. I do find this is such a nice scent for the fall. I like it. And then, of course, their vanilla scent by KLE. I think the pistachio and the eilish one might be really good to bring. Um, if you needed to just decide on two. But I can leave that up to you. These are, these are all really great.
we have some dry shampoo. Always a great thing to bring. and a toothbrush. If you're not bringing your own toothbrush, I can see you have an extra one. Oh, from when you went to the dentist. That's always a good way to use them. Or I find they make great cleaning brushes for tiny places. Yeah, some lavender chamomile hand cream. That's great hands hydrated. Tiny deodorant. Great option. Q-tips. Q-tips are essential. I always need Q-tips. Looks like you have some floss. That's good. Mouth, a new mouthwash. Also good. Facial cleanser by CeraVe. I love this kind. Very gentle and hydrating all year round. So, it's good. And you have a shower cream gel by Sol de Janeiro. All great stuff. Pairs well with your lotion. So, you just have a few things to pack then, right? Shampoo, conditioner... Okay. Sometimes they do have those now in Airbnbs, I, I found out. So, maybe double check if they carry some stuff already, unless you really prefer to bring your own shampoo and body wash and all that. But, these are all great products to bring. Those are your toiletries. So I'll go ahead and put this to the side. A pack of tissues never hurts. I always need a tissue <laughs> myself. These are great options, travel size tissues, so I'll let you unpack this later. What's this? Oh, it's a mirror. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's a little mirror. Mm. You like it, but it's not that big. I can understand that, but it is a travel size. So, it's meant to do the job, you know? Okay, we'll put that aside. It's always important, especially when you're with a group of people and they might be in the bathroom when you need the mirror and it's just nice to have your own mirror to allow you to apply your makeup or skincare whenever you need. It's also nice and roomy, so it's not crushing any hair clips or anything like that. So I see you have a tortoise patterned hair clip. That is really cute and would go with your items or your outfits. You have a nude hair clip. Very cute as well. Love that style. Two hair scrunchies. Okay. 
a comb and your hairbrush. Okay. Very nice. Okay. I think that's great. I don't see any major changes except maybe smaller hair ties, a couple bobby pins. Um, you should be good to go. So, that's all hair stuff, yeah. This has all your makeup. Okay, I see. Got eyebrow gel. Ooh, a uh, let's see. You have a Mac body. Oh, what is this? Studio Radiance face and body. Okay, very nice. Uh, a lip pencil from Urban Decay. Oh, it's like a dark shade, and that's nice. In Liar, that's a great option. Is this the this is the black cherry lip balm from e.l.f. Very coveted and often out of stock. You snatched this up in good timing because it's a great fall color and very moisturizing too. This is a great color and you should absolutely bring it with. So you have two eyeshadow palettes. Okay, you want to decide between the two. Kind of looks like one is more red and the other is more neutral brown. I think I like this one better. You think? Okay, so let's keep that one. Some mascara. Do you want to bring both the MAC face and body and the e.l.f. foundation or just one? I think you could just stick with one. If you want to keep it light, I would stick with the face and body and you can always build up with concealer if you need. Okay, so, uh, some clear lip gloss. That's cute. Oh. I see. You have the Charlotte Tilbury um, face powder, flawless a flawless face filter powder. The travel size, how, how do you like it? You like it a lot. That's good. Okay. A Rare Beauty blush in the color Encourage. This is a nice mauve pink. Perfect for fall. I'm glad you picked that one. This nudes all over face bronze color in Bondi Bay. You like it a lot? That's good. Don't forget to bring your makeup brushes to help apply all this cream product. <laughs> okay, so you've CoverGirl Outlast Concealer Extreme Wear 24 hour full coverage. Yeah, so if you needed to build up coverage, you could use this uh, concealer. Let's see. Oh. This is a great primer. Elf Power Grip Primer. Really helps keep everything on and, you know, especially if it's a sweaty day. Well, that looks great to me. I think you have everything you need. your makeup items. Okay, awesome. I'll set it aside. Alright, was there anything else? Oh, shoes. Okay, let's see. These 
These are the shoes you want to bring. Okay, let me see. Okay. These are great shoes. They're by Dr. Schulz. I think they're the Time Off platform sneakers. A little dusty, but we can wipe that down. No problem. These are going to go great with your outfits. Yes, absolutely. And they're probably extremely comfortable. These are so gorgeous. I think you should absolutely bring them. They're gonna look so cute with pretty much all your outfits. <laughs> awesome. Where did you get them? Target. Of course, Target shoes are absolutely great. At least the ones I get. Similarly, they are so well made. I feel like I've had Target shoes for years. Uh, and of course, you know, if you keep them well maintained, they should be good. Now, what do we have next? Oh, you want me to help you pick some books for the trip? Of course. Are you thinking of how many books to bring? Just one? Okay. That's always a difficult choice, but probably wise considering you don't have that much time to read, except maybe on the road, traveling. Okay. So these are very fall-esque books. Okay, so I see you have Where the Crawdads Sing. This is sort of, you know, I think takes place over many different seasons, but it's always given me sort of a fall, autumn vibe. And it's a thriller, or thrilling in that sense. Murder mystery stuff. A great option. I loved this book, uh, personally. So I think you would like it, if you have yet to read it. I think I finished it in like less than two days because I wanted to find out what happened. Which is the case with thriller, thriller books for me. Okay. That's a good option. Okay. Then you have book lovers. Books, autumn. It's basically a perfect match. So, book lovers is a wonderful book to take if you decide by Emily Henry now this does play, take place in the month of August but I feel like it still could be an autumn book so it's also nice thick to read on your trip. It's a great option. Okay, now, if you're looking for a little bit of fantasy, you chose A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And it says it takes place in Grey London, dirty and boring, without any magic, with one mad king, George the Third. Then there is Red London, and White London, and Black London. So it's kind of like based on a real place, but magical and dark and grey sort of gives me autumnal vibes. 
gloomy weather. I also love reading fantasy during the fall time. I think it's just also something where we feel a bit fantastical. Magic, Harry Potter, all that good stuff. Halloween, all that jazz. So, I think this is a great option, depending on if you're interested in some fantasy. Daisy Jones and the Six. Something about a wild, unruly uh, rock band or band Mus of musicians. Sounds like a very autumnal read. So, I saw the show on Amazon and loved it. So, I can only imagine the book is that much better. So, what do you think? Ooh, yeah, I know, it's such a hard decision. It's a good one. And finally, we have The Spanish Love Deception. I feel like this isn't quite a season type book. It feels like it's a bit summery because it's like a trip to Spain. It's actually the main character, Girls sister's wedding in Spain and she has to bring a date and ends up bringing the sort of enemy <laughs> enemies to lovers is sort of the book. I was pleasantly surprised by this book personally. I've read it. It is a spicy book and it is really good. There's some things that are kind of interesting about it. <laughs> but Overall, I loved this book, and um, I just was captivated by it, so um, I think you would like it as well if you're kind of looking for something a little more romantic. I know, it's such a difficult decision. How about you think on it? I'll leave the stack over here, but... I would recommend only bringing one. <laughs> Try not to bring more than that. Or you're going to probably regret having to carry all of this stuff. <laughs> well, I think that concludes our packing for you, at least for tonight. I hope the rest of your packing goes smoothly. I think we narrowed down quite a bit and when you're ready to fully pack everything, I'm sure you're going to feel confident in making more decisions. Uh, no. Less is more. <laughs> and, uh, again, I don't think you have too much to worry about. But thanks for having me over to help you pack. I've really enjoyed our time. And I can't wait for your trip. It sounds really lovely, and I hope you have an amazing time and have lots of fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about I help you put some of this stuff?